My name is Don George. I'm a biologist for the 45th Space Wing of the United States Air Force on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station here in Florida. We're on the beach in Cape Canaveral right now, and I'm kneeling next to a leatherback sea turtle nest uh, that was deposited on our beach on the 10th of April. Um, you might notice that we have some wire on top of this, and uh, this is what we do for keeping the predators out of the nest. Leatherbacks are endangered sea turtles. They're the largest ones that exist in the world today. They're very rare. This particular turtle that laid this nest was probably about 800 pounds and maybe six feet long. This is the second uh, leatherback nest we've had so far this year. Leatherbacks nest earlier than the other sea turtles. Typically, the most turtles that we get on the Cape are loggerheads. Last year we had over 1,800 loggerhead nests on the Cape and over 50 green turtle nests, also an endangered sea turtle. And again, very rare sea turtle. And all summer long we're out here every morning, at least two people, and we monitor the whole 21 kilometers of Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Beach. We also have a similar program down at Patrick Air Force Base. We have a four and a half mile, seven kilometer beach down there. And our sea turtle work is done by the University of Central Florida. Just observe it, leave it alone, don't dig into it. 55 days for loggerheads, up to uh, 70 days for the leatherbacks. Hopefully the little turtles will hatch out. Uh, again, you'll see tracks going down to the beach where the little hatchlings scurried back into the ocean. Enjoy the sight, but if you happen to see a sea turtle, please don't touch it and call the appropriate uh, county officials and uh, they'll send somebody out like myself that's permitted to handle sea turtles and we'll take care of the hatchlings or you know any sick or injured sea turtles. We are the global leaders for light management, exterior light management. We have a very successful light management program which keeps our hatchling disorientation under uh, 2%, which is pretty much unheard of in the rest of the state. We have changed out exterior lights to low pressure sodium lights wherever possible. Low pressure sodium lights are monochromatic. They uh, only emit light in a single wavelength that is not as disorienting to sea turtles. So that in and of itself has saved a lot of sea turtles from disorientation. Looks like a jellyfish to a sea turtle. And that's a prime sea turtle food. So the sea turtles will eat these balloons uh, it'll impact their digestive system and subsequently they'll die from starvation. <laughs> sea turtles have been around longer than any other living organism on our planet right now. If for no other reason, obviously they're here for a purpose. They're an integral part of an ocean ecosystem, and you know, it's not up to us to decide which animals live or die. <laughs> so.